y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello welcome now if y'all read the title of today's video y'all already know what we are about to get into so let's not waste no time now the hair featured in today's video is from rosa beauty boutique on aliexpress this wig is a 613 wig that comes with 18 inches of length a 13 by 4 frontal 180 percent density and transparent lace so it is now time for the toning process and all I'm doing here is adding some purple shampoo to a tub of hot water I'm gonna mix these two together real good and then I'll dip my wig in let it sit for a little while and basically what this is gonna do is remove any yellow tones from within the wig All right, y'all, so now after about five to 10 minutes of letting the hair sit, it is now time to remove her, get her rinsed, and this is what she's given. All right, y'all, so we have made it to part one of the coloring process. So for this portion, I am using the watercolor method, and I am using one bottle of the Kiss Temptation Rose Gold Hair Color. I'm basically gonna add this all into my tub. I'm gonna mix it up, make sure there's no chunks or anything like that, and then I will dip my wig in and out a few times and then let her sit and soak up the color until I reach my desired results. Alright y'all and after doing all of that this is how the hair turned out it is showing up a little bit darker on camera but you guys will see as the light and stuff like that adjusts that it's really not as dark as it shows up but voila And we have now made it to part two of the coloring process. For this portion, I am using the Kiss Colors Berry Red and Black. In one container, I am going to be mixing some of that black with the Berry Red just so I can get a deeper color than what was given with just the Berry on its own. And in another separate container, I will just have the Black. All right, y'all. So here y'all see me parting out a section in the front of the wig. Um, basically, this section of the hair is going to be different from the rest. And you guys will see later on what I end up doing with that. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to try my best to explain what's going on here, but obviously the best thing for y'all to do is just watch. Um, so basically the goal with this look was to create a balayage effect. So as y'all can see, I already got a section parted out and everything like that. So what I'm going to be doing is taking that berry shade and that black shade that I mixed together, and I'm going to be applying that on the section as far up as I want it to go. And of course, I'm going to make sure everything is nice and blended. It's a smooth transition into each color. And then towards the end of the hair, I will apply that black. One more thing, y'all, I just wanted to share this tip because I feel like it's super important, especially for creating this look. Y'all really want to make sure that your colors are blended. And in order to achieve that blended effect, y'all will see me using my fingers as well as my comb to just go in and blend out any lines of demarcation or anything like that. Each and every single color should flow seamlessly into one another.
Ghost.
All right, y'all, now that I have completely finished coloring the wig, I am going to let her sit overnight and I will rinse her out the following morning. It is now the next day and the hair is ready to be rinsed. Now my rule of thumb per usual is y'all should not be using warm or hot water. Y'all need to be only using cool water. And this is so that way y'all can prevent the color from bleeding out of the hair. Now for this step, I'm just going to be shampooing and conditioning the hair like normal. And y'all can feel free to use whatever shampoo or conditioner you like.
all right y'all and this is how the wig turned out it's so cute it's definitely giving like amethyst crystal vibes but if y'all like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe if y'all want to see how i styled this wig just let me know and i appreciate y'all for tuning in with me and i'll see y'all in the next one